Hi, this is John with Bank Account Bonus Central, and today's video is all about Unify, Federal Credit Union. They have a huge, we're going to call it $1,080 bonus. Uh, it is a CD funding bonus. This is part of the Infinite Loop series, and this is a nationwide offer. So this video is going to be pretty interesting uh, about Unify Federal Credit Union. This credit union definitely has some pros, definitely has some cons, and we're going to talk about why it's called fishing and not catching. Before we jump into additional details, I do have a quick disclaimer. So I am a customer of Unify. I am not affiliated by them. I'm not endorsed by them. This is my own personal review for informational purposes only. So uh, all the screenshots are either from email or from their website. Before we jump in, quick question. When was the last time your bank paid you over and over to open up an account? So this video is about the infinite loop. If you don't know what that is, it's crazily profitable. Um, this video is about uh, making money. That's what this channel is about. Uh, how much money are we talking about? $3 million. I got a $3 million challenge for the year 2023. I want to help at least 1,000 people make at least $3,000 off these videos. If you can appreciate profitable content on a consistent basis, do me a favor and slap this video with a huge thumbs up. So huge shout out to friends of the channel, Rodney and his dad, Lindell. Definitely appreciate all uh, watching the videos, uh, reaching out to me and take advantage of the offers in these videos so we can make some money. So there's that. Definitely appreciate y'all guys. All right. So this video, as I said, is part of the infinite loop series. Infinite loop is something that I came up with that, uh, as I said, it's ridiculously, uh, profitable. I'm still always trying to perfect it as, uh, a high school math teacher. I am a, I don't think so. I am a math teacher. Um, success is what's called asymptotal. Uh, an asymptote is something that you can get really, really close to, but never actually touch it. So there's always upgrades coming to this. So there's going to be a bunch of videos on this thing, but the infinite loop consists of three parts. The first part is buying CDs with credit cards. Um, it, it goes through as a purchase and the cash back you get, or the points you get with the credit cards, they're considered tax free. Excuse me, because they're considered rebates on a purchase and it's not considered interest and it's not considered a deep dividend. So there's no tax on the money you get for using your credit card to purchase this. So that is a huge uh, part of the uh, infinite loop. And the more times you can do this per year. So if you get a three month CD, you can hit or yeah, three month CD, you can hit that four times per year. So if you get 2% cash back CD, you can hit it two, four, six, eight percent cash back tax-free. That's awesome. What bank's going to get you that? Uh, then you want to stack that with the interest that's earned from the CD. <coughs> Excuse me. So the Fed has been raising interest rates, which means CD rates have been going up. If you can find rates that are really high, plus you get the cash back from the credit card, that's awesome. And then the third part, which has been the, one of the hardest parts, is uh, getting a cash back debit card uh, where you can use that with uh, PayPal bill pay to pay off your credit card. So that's a third piece of cash. Finding one that uh, pays out, doesn't have a F rating with BBB and wait, works with PayPal bill pay has been tough. I'm still working on that. Once I find something I actually feel confident enough to share with others, I'm going to share. Um, so there's that. So that's a three part of the infinite loop. And then whatever money you make, once the CD's mature, you just keep looping it. You just keep putting the money back in and watching your pile of cash grow. So that is a fun thing. Cash back on a debit card is also considered a rebate on a purchase. So that's tax free as well. So the only cash or tax implication there is, is for the interest off the CDs because that's actually interest and not cash back. So I made a few videos about this, uh, the superpower of the Chase Inc. Unlimited business card. So when I first started getting into this, I got really excited um, because uh, the Chase Inc. cards, they offer 0% interest for your first 12 cycles or basically 13 months. So I took all my limits. I have five ink cards. I took the limits from the first four cards, plugged them into this one card, and I have a whole bunch of Chase's money sitting in a credit union making me money for 12 months. So there's, entry, uh, there's uh, information on this video here. <coughs> Excuse me. So superpower, awesome. Another, this one is a Texas uh, one, A plus federal credit union. Absolutely love this credit union. 
they don't have a cap on how much you can charge out their credit cards. So what's interesting about this one um, is when you first sign up, you can charge. I did 5,000 the first time online. And if you try to go online to fund more, it won't let you. It says you got to use something else. But if you call in, then uh, you pay a $7.50 fee and there's basically no limit to how much you can charge. So that is huge there. I have a video, a link to that video here, which I go into greater detail. And their six month CD rates are really nice. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so looking at what originally got my attention with Unify is their three month CDs. So you can look at their CD terms, 60, 48, 36, 24, 12, six, and then three. So minimum uh, $1,000 to earn this APY is 0.995%, which uh, APY is 1%. You can say, hey, John, 1% is garbage. Yeah, sure. But as I said, if you take a 2% credit card and you do that four times a year, that's 8% plus one. That's 9% plus anything off your cashback debit card. That's huge. <coughs> Excuse me. So there is that. That really got my attention. Another thing that got my attention is a five month APY, nine month certificate. So that's huge there. You can put money in once and then you can make one additional deposit within 30 days of opening. So there's that. So I was uh, originally able to fund uh, in total 16,000 on my SoFi credit card, 4,000 at a time. Uh, biggest one was 8,000 per day. So you can see currently, I got 4,000. Uh, this just did a little bit of interest from the beginning of the month, uh, three month certificate, three month certificate. And I got that nine month promo certificate. So that's sitting there. I also had 2000 in the savings account, 2000 checking account. When I first opened it up, those don't pay like any interest, like at all. So I already moved that money out and I'm going to put it in other places. So this is what it looks like, uh, for my SoFi, um, credit card statement. Unify Financial Credit Union fees, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000. <coughs> Excuse me, dealing with this cold for a while. Thankful I have a voice to be able to record. So there's that. Um, yeah, so I was able to charge 16,000 in total off this card. It all came, purchased, uh, came as a purchase. So there's a very few cards I actually recommend uh, playing this game with. SoFi and Chase cards. Uh, preferably the Chase Inc. cards because they have $750 to $1,000 sign-up bonuses. And then the SoFi credit card also uh, has come an awful clutch. So I have a video about me applying for that one. Um, definitely recommend that for this game. They don't have any qualms with uh, being able to fund uh, accounts with it. And another cool thing is once you pay off the SoFi card, <coughs> excuse me, you have that money instant, uh, instantly available to dispatch again. They update your credit limit really, really quick. So Unify, they have um, $75 in referrals. So if you're interested in signing that up, there's a 75, actually $80 bonus. 75 of, the, is, 75 of that is referral, and the other five is they just give you as part of the share, uh, your membership share. So a friend wants you at Unify. There's up to 75 in it for you. Um, as we're always saying, thanks for signing up with us. When you open up your qualified checking account and a debit card, we'll give you and your referring buddy 50 bucks each. <coughs> and just for the person signing up, you get a bonus 25 bucks for using your unified debit card during the first 45 days, um, uh, after the opening. So I'll go over additional information about that, what that looks like. So it's 25 bucks by earning $1 for each purchase made, uh, over five bucks. So. Amazon gift card reloads. It's like a federal law. You need to spend money on Amazon. So you can reload your Amazon gift card, uh, five bucks a pop and get a 20% bonus on top of that. So that's pretty sweet on top of the $75 or the $50 sign up bonus. There is no link to it. Basically, if you're interested in signing up for Unify and snagging $80 bonus plus what you can get out of the um, infinite loop part of this, uh, you need to email me at churningadventures at gmail.com. Uh, please include your first name your last name and your email address, where you want your referral to go to. Um, make sure it's the same email address. You're going to sign up for them uh, for the account. So there's that. So when you send me your information, I'm just going to put into here, first name, last name, email, hit submit, and you're going to get an email. that's going to say, Hey, John wants you to sign up for this or our mutual friend, John. <coughs> 
what's uh you to sign up for uh, unify and you're going to get email from them it says join the unify family you get 50 bucks plus that 25 they talk about and here's what it looks like so it's already going to have your first name and last name pre-populated from the uh from the invitation and it's going to say reason for joining unify is promotional offer it's already in there so that means you're good to go for the bonus and then you just put in your social number and hit continue and then you can sign up so one size fits all what you want to first do is uh start up the e-savings they give you an initial five dollars on us so for a credit union you got to put in five bucks that's considered your membership share you ever shut down your account with them you get that back so that's being that's part of your uh your stock in their company you become part owner uh fireworks so here's uh personal information address zip code they got eligibility funding verification and then decision date of birth id id number expiration date email address uh rest of this stuff if you want to add a co-applicant information for employment are you related to unify member are you a unify employee share with you a funny story I would go sign up for uh, bonuses at my local Chase uh, branch. And then uh, they would say, hey, take advantage of everything you can from us because we can't do it. Chase employees are not eligible for Chase bonuses. So Chase employees at my local branch, they go to other banks to snag bonuses. They know how the game is played. So there's that. So uh, reviewing your application, it only should take a few minutes. Um, I click the e-checking and savings to get the debit card. I put in 2000 into the checking, 2000 to savings. Uh, you can use a credit card or debit card, 4000 maximum. I chose 4000 maximum for my SoFi credit card. And then you put in, uh, you make up a username and a password. One thing that annoys me the most is when they ask you to put in a username and a password and i put it in my list of username and passwords and then you get denied that's just like the worst thing now you got to go back and delete it out of my uh where i keep my username and password so uh debit card yes i want the debit card add to my collection and then i always opt out of the overdraft fee the only way to get an overdraft fee is to opt in so i never get overdraft fees because i never opt in so some advice on overdraft fees um they have a whole bunch of disclosures if whether or not you're subject to withhold uh, backup withholding membership application view and sign courtesy pay document view and sign and then it's uh signed it and then you see the circle of death and then the circle of death does its thing it goes and it spins and then it spins some more and it moves around and it dances and then it spins again and then finally Congratulations, you got yourself a new account. Below is a summary of products that have been successfully opened. So the free checking, 2,000 bucks, bam. Um, E-savings, 2,000 bucks, bam. So that's $4,000 in um, in funding. So $4,000 at 2%, that is $80. Not bad for uh, right there, 2,005 actually, because they get the $5 free for the membership uh, share. So. There's that. After you're in, you can open up additional accounts to what your credit card limit is up to 4,000 at a time. So I was able to additionally open up the promo nine months uh, certificate, another certificate. And then here's the bad news. So I said good news, bad news, and why it's called phishing and not catching. So each time you open up an account with Unify, they make an inquiry to your checks report. So a checks report is basically like a credit report for checking, excuse me, and savings accounts. So each time they, they pull your report, it puts an inquiry around there. And when you have too many inquiries, it kind of lowers your score a little bit to where they say, hey, you open up too many accounts. It's like, well, yeah, y'all keep pulling inquiries off of this. So if you open up multiple accounts per day, um, if you look on your checks report, they do get combined to one offer. So for example, if you have a $12,000 limit on your credit card, I would definitely suggest hitting one, two, three, four thousand dollar um, accounts at once. So then you'll be able to get all those combined at one time. So then I got this email eventually. It says, we regret to inform you we cannot open your account today due to information received from checks. So 
thank you for pulling my account so much that I got denied because y'all kept putting inquiries on there. So uh, email me if uh, churningadventure.gmail.com with your first name, last name, and email address where you want the referral to go to. I'm here to tell you the good and the bad about uh, these bank bonuses. Most, there is both in both of these. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. Fishing because you're not guaranteed to catch something. Catching, if you want to catch fish, go to the grocery store um, where you'll definitely get fish. There's another one I can uh, mention about that is nationwide, um, one that I have done a lot of, uh, opened up a lot of CDs with. Nationwide Credit Union that does allow credit card funding up to $5,000 per CD, and they do not pull checks for additional CDs opened. Um, I originally had my checks frozen from like January to like April just to, to uh, clear it out to um, open additional accounts and uh, I opened a bunch of CDs with this uh, company. I can't mention them because of reasons. Um, I made multiple videos about this credit union before, and then they sent me a letter of cease and desist. So I said, I'm never going to mention you on air. Um, I can email you information about them if you're interested about that. Bank account bonus central verdict. The infinite loop is a super profitable way to make money. Too bad it's not always infinite for every credit union. Um, Email me for a referral if you want to make some money from Unified Credit Union from both the referral and for uh, credit card funding, plus the interest they have. I'm still looking for unlimited three-month CDs, preferably 5000 plus without checks pulled for every account open. I'm sure it's out there. Uh, the good book says, ask and keep asking, knock and keep knocking, seek and keep seeking. So the hunt is still on for the ultimate level of success for the infinite loop. I still do have comments off for videos, but if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, journeyadventures at gmail.com. And then today's question, what should we do with the sin in our lives? So sin is uh, not a religious term. It is a sporting term. It deals with the sport of archery. The goal of archery is to hit the bullseye with the arrow. If you miss, that's called a sin. So 1 John 1, 9, it says, If we confess our sins to him, to God, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. And confess means, it doesn't mean, hey, God, I'm sorry uh, for the wrong I did. It's repenting. It's, you know, it's asking for forgiveness and turning away from uh, the sin in your life. What does that look like? Romans 13, 12, love this verse. It says, The night is almost gone. The day of salvation soon will be here. So remove your dark deeds like dirty clothes and put on the shining armor of right living. So James says the effective prayers of a righteous man uh, availeth much. So it's hard to have a good prayer life when you have active sin in your life. Uh, I have additional information about this on how to follow Jesus. Uh, for gotquestions.org, link to that in the description box down below as well. Covenant eyes. Another thing that um, holds people away from God is addiction. I want to see people to be spiritually free. I want to see people to be financially free. And there's no way anybody can be spiritually free when you have any sort of addiction. Um, online pornography is a huge one out there. I am an affiliate for Covenant Eyes. If you use my referral link in the description box below, you get your first 30 days free to see if this is something that will benefit you and your family. If you're still here with me, these videos are not short, but they definitely are profitable. Like the video if you appreciate profitable content on a consistent basis. Share this with anybody who would be able to benefit from it and subscribe with bell notifications so you can be amongst the first to learn about these profitable offers. And with that, look forward to seeing the next one. Peace and may God bless you.